Hello everyone and welcome back to SGTV. We're here with Amy Barrett-Singh once again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about social media. So as we've mentioned in a previous episode, uh, this is how you've came to our radar. Uh, you've been, become quite popular on social media. So how did that come about then? Is that something that you intended to do for business or just wanted to put yourself out there? No, not at all. I set up my page. It was just a Friday night in lockdown, nothing to do. Um, and I just done this job uh, with a company that I work for. Um, I think it was a it was a garage conversion. Uh, they were making like a little office, and I just I'd cap these cables, and they're in like really straight lines. It just looked really nice, and I'd taken this picture. I just really liked it. So, yeah, I I, I used my own personal Instagram to look at different electrical pages. Um, you know, just geeky stuff. Electrician tools. geeky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> tools and different jobs, like neat fuse bores and stuff. Um, it's quite therapeutic, isn't it? When you start looking at things, oh, that's nice and straight. It's, and, yeah, and it's yeah. one of those things you get lost in. You just, you know, this, there are some really decent pages out there. So I used to sit and scroll through for ages and I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll set it up and see how it goes. Um, and it just, yeah, went a bit mad. Yeah. yeah. It, so it's exceeded your expectations. Definitely. Of what yeah, it's, it's not what I thought it would be at all. I thought it would just be the same, really. Me looking at other people's brilliant work um, and learning stuff and, you know. What, what do you think's made yours as popular as it has? Because as a lot of people know, there's a lot of pages out there for electricians and other trades and some of them go unnoticed. But yours, you started quite recently and it's, it's ballooned. What do you reckon's caused that? Um, I think it's just because it's something different, isn't it? Like, there are how many male electricians out there? And I think basically being a female, people, for whatever reason, want to see what you're doing, how you do it. I think that that's the only thing I can think of because I'm not doing anything amazing, I'm not doing anything different to anyone else. There are far better and more experienced electricians out there putting amazing work on. Um, so I think it's just, I think it's just that difference, really. It's brought you to collaborate with some other quite well-known electricians in the industry, yeah. hasn't it? So you've been yeah. with Nick Bundy, who we've had on the show a few times. Yeah. So how, how did that come about? I feel so lucky. Um, I've had some amazing opportunities come from it, which I never <laughs> expected. Uh, so Sam, uh, I was in touch with him from quite near the beginning. He he um, got in touch with me about um, a few different things on Instagram and some opportunities that might be coming up. And yeah, he introduced me to Nick and yeah. Yeah, I we like Nick. I don't know if Nick likes me anymore because I called him Ted Bundy <laughs> last time he was on the show. <laughs> oh, <okay>. By accident. <laughs> By uh, accident. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was watching the Ted Bundy thing before and I was like, right, don't introduce him as Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy. I was like, here we are, Ted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, Nick's really, great Nick's really good. Yeah. yeah. He's becoming quite well known too, isn't he? So have you got yeah. more collabs lined up with people like Nick or? Uh, I have, yeah. I've. I've recently been working with uh, Ricky and Aid from RJ Homes. Uh, I think they're based in Warsaw, but um, they contacted me. I've been talking to them from near the beginning, uh, to be to be honest. Uh, really great guys. But yeah, I did a job with them a few weeks ago. It was quite exciting. It was for a celebrity, so I'm not allowed to say. Ooh, I had to sign a form a and everything. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. <laughs> don't ask. Um, yeah, that was great. It was a really good experience. A bit exciting, something different. Um, Did you steal anything? Like, just go through the drawers? No, and... <laughs> of course not. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't have done that, honestly. No, no. no. So, yeah, that was good. Uh, and then I worked, he came and helped me on a job uh, a couple of weekends ago as well. A sort of a last minute board change that I didn't, I didn't think it was going to need a board change, but it did in the end. Um, and I had like one day to finish this job. So, Ricky saved, saved me and <laughs> came so and helped me. Good for meeting people and excellent for meeting people. Networking, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be doing some more work with um with Ricky in January, a couple of different jobs. Uh and I've got some other companies that have messaged me saying, um, you know, do you wanna come and work with us? And I've messaged a couple of companies uh, that that look like they do different work to me, so I'm learning lots. It's so it's gained your business then doing what what you're doing on Instagram yeah. and on social media. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. we've had some some Sparkies in before who have said they don't gain any business. It's more more about community, back and yeah. forth in with other electricians. Yeah. Um, 
but I, w- I wonder if that varies on region or even which platform you're using. I know social. I know Facebook, for example. People have often said that's great for chatting, but not necessarily gaining work. Do you think yeah. it's different for Instagram then? People say that about Instagram as well, though. Oh, really? So, but then I've met people that say they get a lot of work through Instagram. So I'm really not sure. I don't know if it depends how you use your Instagram um, and how you like hashtag stuff. I really, I don't really know how it how it all works. But seems to be working well though. <laughs> it's worked. It's worked for me. It's worked for me in lots of different ways. It's it has opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Has it so. brought you any time wasters or any jobs that just aren't worth it? No, not really, not yet. It's all been, I've had quite a bit of work out of it. and yeah. All good then. All good, yeah. yeah. What about negatives? Any yeah. any dodgy uh, incidents on social media that's come your way? You're smiling at me like something that dodgy's <laughs> happened now. <laughs> There's always going to be negatives, isn't there, in everything yeah, yeah. that you do. Um, I've had a, a negative experience with a company, um, you live and learn, don't you? So uh, there's there's been way more positives than negatives. I think the only other negative thing is I think sometimes people are a bit too uh, critical. You know, I see pages on there of um, armchair experts. Yeah, and it's always the same people like having a go at people, putting people down, being overly critical about work. Uh, sometimes I get that you're putting yourself out there, you're putting your work out there, you, so you're open to everyone's comments and opinions and stuff. But I think some people take it too far with the criticism, and I think you need to look at the accounts as well that you that you're commenting on. Like I saw something recently um, on an, a female apprentice's account, so she's only young, eighteen, nineteen. Um, some guy putting really negative stuff on out there, and I think you know you upload a photo onto your page that you're proud of for whatever reason, whatever stage you're at in your career, you you think that's your best work, and then for someone, for someone to yeah. jump on you like a grown adult, grown man, and put negative loads of negatives about it, I just think what are you gaining from that? Mm. What are you gaining from that by putting her down and boosting the ego? It's ridiculous. Some of it's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, some of it's really helpful. Uh, I ha- you know, you get people that say, "Oh, uh, looks that looks great," but you, you, if you'd use this, the, this would have been better. And you think, "Oh, yeah." So, yeah. well, that's good. You know, that's, you that's learn, critical, you, isn't it? Yeah, it's that's that's critical, worth it. Constructive criticism. That's yeah. the word I'm looking for. Yeah. yeah, and that's very useful. I've had that quite a bit. Um, sometimes people don't comment on your on your actual picture they'll send you a dm if it's something negative which is also good if you you know when you think about it yeah because you're not wanna... showing them up you're, help, yeah. you're trying to help them, yeah they say oh you should have done this or you shouldn't or that doesn't comply or check this and that's that's also really helpful so yeah any any big positives from it obviously you're mentioning people helping you out here and there gaining work any other things that have helped you along the way um just meeting people and just the amount I've learned, it's just crazy. Um, through Instagram and YouTube, really, because through Instagram, I've found lots of different YouTube um, YouTubers that have been really, that put really useful content up. It just spirals, doesn't it? You, you see more and more. But yeah, mainly meeting people. And I'm, I, I think that's what I've enjoyed most out of it. Because the, the guys that I work with, with the, the company three days a week, they're great, and I've learned a lot from them. Um, but I think you find you do lots of similar jobs, and everybody works, has a way of working. But when you work with different people, you learn new ways of working, different ways of doing things. You work on different types of jobs. So it's just different. It's all a different experience. And all great for learning. And, yeah, yeah, it's really, really, really good. Do you find it takes much time? Because I know a lot of electricians or anyone in trades, it's it's busy. They're always busy. Yeah. If they're not on site, they're doing quotes or paperwork. So do you think yeah. by spending a bit of time doing your Instagram and things like that is worthwhile? For me, it is. It, it can take up time. Um, messaging, you know, responding to messages. I always try and respond to all of my messages um, because I think, well, people have taken time out to message me for whatever reason. So, yeah, it, it can be time consuming, but, just, you know, at the end of each day, just sitting for an hour and messaging everyone back or uploading a picture or whatever. Uh, and for me, it's totally worth it. For what I'm getting out of it at the minute, 100% worth it. But, yeah. I mean, everyone's different, aren't they? And so. you've got a YouTube channel coming out. What it's, are you going to be doing on that then? 
the I'm doing a 10 episode series called Women in the Trades and it's uh yeah all different trade tradey ladies just talking about their experiences how they got into it uh negatives and positives and advice for you know other people that are wanting to get into it. So trade. not not just electricians then. No, not just electricians. Making the crossover with the yeah. the other people yeah. that other trades don't get on with. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, that's a really good thing about Instagram. It is like a yeah. with the with all the trades, it's like a proper community and it's, it's like a family almost. It's, it's really good. It's really great. Yeah. yeah. So people can look out for you on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, yeah. Where can they find you on those sites? I know you've already plugged it on one of our other videos, but if they haven't seen that, yeah. where could they? It's at Amy the Sparky. Okay. Hope you found that useful. Make sure you follow Amy. Keep an eye out for her YouTube channel. As Amy's mentioned, it's going to be useful for any trade really, so definitely one to look out for. So we hope you enjoyed this episode and we hope to see you again next time. Please make sure you like, subscribe and hit the notification button below.